Hello guys, welcome back to the channel once again. Today I'm super, super, mega excited to be sharing this video with you guys because today we're gonna be talking about Madre Solo I Do. Season 3 actually came out and I'm very, very excited for it. This one is actually the best one so far. So if you guys haven't watched it, please go watch it. It's actually available to watch on Netflix and yes, it's incredible. Me personally, I would definitely rate it a 10 out of a 10 because it's a little bit different, you know, it's drama mixed with emotions, mixed with very good acting and very good quality. Please let me know your thoughts down below in the comments if you guys have watched, you know, season 3 and what are your personal thoughts on it so far regarding Anna and Mariana's relationship on the show and what are your predictions for the end of the show if you have, you know, gotten that far yet. Today will only be a part 1, I will be definitely be doing a part 2 because there are so much info and I couldn't just put everything in this video so I will be doing a part so very very soon before we get into more details please don't forget to like comment share subscribe and let me know you know like already said, like already said your your personal info regarding it so let's get right into it so basically at the end of season two you can actually see that Anna and Mariana they have announced that they are in a relationship and they did it because both of their baby daddies in this case uh, Anna's husband and Mariana's baby daddy they were gonna sue them you know and so in order to avoid the children getting separated and to you know to get full custody of the children they have decided you know to contra attack and the only way they could do that is by announcing that they are in a lesbian relationship so that's how everything begins in season three and them announce to their family that they are in a relationship making it public at work so basically the first episode is just based on that and everyone having their own opinions regarding lesbian relationship and why Anna and Mariana together they are confused because nobody saw it happening you know and also you know they're having conversations with the lawyers to figure out what is the right way to go about it and also you know try to you know try to make this fake relationship a real relationship so that's how everything develops and as season three progresses uh in episode two and three that's when things started to get a little bit serious because mariana starts to you know have feelings she already has feelings for someone who she was starting to date ferran but you know she couldn't stay away from him so they started so she decided to be honest with him and tell him the truth on why how you know her and my and anna are doing this and he was okay with it so they start you know having like a secret affair which was good at the beginning until one day things changed because you can actually see that you know while mariana was dealing with ferran anna she was actually not dealing with nobody she was by herself focusing on work they were also you know working on this big big uh, uh, project together and she was dealing with her you know her kids trying to get her son's trust back again and also you know having to deal with her husband and her husband's family situations and everything so basically mariana went on and had her affair loki she never told anna about it anna didn't know about the affair because mariana knew that anna would be accept about it because Mariana will be putting a lot in jeopardy because she knows if she gets caught with Ferran, she can they can lose the case and they can lose their kids and the kids can can actually be separated. So she didn't want to tell Anna because she didn't didn't want to worry her to that extent of point. So as things progresses, one day. Anna and Mariana they have to go do this presentation for uh, a, ma a, a male boss a very wealthy man who is part of the LGBT co community to invest them to you know him to invest in their company and and on this project that they've been working on together so they went on this trip to go meet the man and everything and they ended up you know having their first alone time together and because they got into a car accident but nothing happened you know so they had to to stay in a very small town while the car was getting repaired so that's why everything started to the you know to go to another level between them because during this you know this one night that they had uh anna and mariana they were drinking they were having fun with one another and they ended up hooking up prior to that i just one thing i wanted to say before i continue saying what i want to say is that mariana actually had feelings for anna but she ended up moving forward and she closed that door but now after you know they were they, on, on this getaway that they were you know the a car accident situation that they got into uh anna actually anna and mariana they actually got involved with one another there was a lot of tension they ended up sleeping and hooking up for the very you know very very first time and things got a little bit shaky and confused because now anna you know she, 
she's like in love with Mariana. She wants to be with Mariana for real, for real, and not like on a fake note. But Mariana right now is confused because she still wants to be with Ferran. But she also opens that she, she also tells her friend of her that she, her she, her feelings for Anna might have reopened, but she's not sure because her head right now is not you know at that is focused on her you know her situation that she has going on. With, with Ferran and she's not ready to know what's going on with her and Anna yet even though the night they spent was very good according to Mariana but she's not sure if, if if there's something more to it you know but Anna on the other hand is already sure that she wants to be and that she is in love with Mariana so basically they had the conversation finally things were a little bit awkward between them and finally they had the conversation and mariana was uh mariana and anna they were very very honest with one another so basically uh anna told Mari uh, mariana i'm in love with you you know i want to be with you and i don't want us to fake it anymore i want us to you know to take it for real for real but anna's response was i care for you you are the person who understands me the most you know you are like my best friend but i can't be with you right now on this level because i have my own situation with Veran going on and then mariana asked about do you love him she didn't respond she, she just said she is with him right now so basically she didn't really give her the answer that she expected so that answer will leave a door open but during that whole conversation things did go as planned because they ended up you know getting hurt by the whole office and the whole office actually found out that their relationship was fake and that will bring a lot of problems because the investors on the project are part of the lgbtq community and they will be so disappointed once they find out that their relationship is fake and also now mariana knows that anna doesn't feel the same for her and anna will now be freely you know open and freely again to be with Ferran because their husbands actually dropped the case so everything regarding that is all good so now comes the emotional damage and part with it you know so that will be the part two that i will be talking about things are looking very interesting i really feel like mariana still has uh feelings for anna and i know anna will go on adventures and explore more her sexuality i don't i don't know until what's extent of point but i will definitely be keeping you guys posted so yes guys like i basically said if you guys want the full full details go watch the show go support it and let me know your thoughts down below in the comments like i said part two coming very 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 soon please don't forget to like comment share subscribe to the channel and i will also recommend you guys you know to go watch season two so you guys can understand the full details on how the relationship between the two ladies actually develop in order for it to get to this point so yes guys a very interesting show very interesting and you guys don't have to worry because netflix actually has subtitles available so regarding that everything is okay they have it unlocked you can put it in whatever language you want and you will get the translation correctly and fully done i love the show i'm very excited to see what's gonna happen hopefully anna and mariana they will be together because they look so cute together and they balance each other out and they both are mothers and they are raising each other's kids it's always like very it's a very fun fun show and also funny as well so yes guys like i